What's going on, guys? Chef Freddy here, a.k.a. Chef Gate Gains, a.k.a. the chef against obesity. Folks, I am so against obesity. I'm so against laziness. I am so against people being a victim of just eating garbage and nonsense, right? I have tailored my life around doing this for you, not for just me, but for spreading my knowledge, um, trying to help people um, not look better for vanity reasons but to live longer you know stay around for your kids be around for your grandkids really hey you want to go long stay around for your great grandkids right um and the way to do that folks is changing your diet and being able to um have a build a better relationship with food a lot of the problems that we're facing in america is because we're allowing um you know the industry to pack our foods with gmo with additives with msg with butter with extra sodium um salt 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 sugar 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 high fructose corn syrup all of that nonsense guys healthy food can be extremely flavorful and i'm going to show you how but i'm also going to show you how today to package this food that you can do in your house in less than 30 minutes and make about five to ten meals for your weekly lunches and dinners right it's all about using your 24 hours effectively right instead of watching that netflix series and sitting on the couch and being lazy and licking dorito dust from your belly button right start taking care of yourself you got dorito dust in your belly button I mean, that's nasty. It's disgusting. You got Cheeto dust in your ears. You're just over here and watching that. You still watching? You guys, you know when Netflix comes on, it's like, yo, click, are you still watching? And you click, yeah. yeah it's three series in. Get off your lazy behind. Get in the kitchen and start meal prepping. Let's get to it. Because what we're focused on when we're meal prepping is eating for energy. And the way to eat for energy is to understand and figure out what your macros are going to be. Okay, and your macros, right? And we have micros and what we should take in. That's your vitamins, your ADEC vitamins, your fat soluble vitamins, your B12s, your thiamine. Those are your water soluble vitamins. Those are micros. Those are things that we got to get, you know, maybe use some supplements to take in everyday multivitamin. But our macros, guys, are is our proteins, our fats, our carbohydrates. Okay, all right. And to make sure that we have some type of roughage or green vegetable in us to make sure that our body stays regular, right? Pooping, by the way, is not nasty. It's probably the most healthiest thing our body can do. It's making sure that our body broke down the food properly and got rid of the waste properly. All right. So I got my scales here. I have my units of measure on how I do it. This is how I do it. Plenty of ways to break down your macros. Um, but this is just how I do it. So I'm going to give you an example of what I got going on. Okay. And what I have going on here is my scale. So what I do for every meal that I eat, my main meals, I eat four ounces of chicken, right? Which equates to 35 grams of protein. Okay. Again, four ounces of chicken equates to 35 grams of protein. So I have my scale and on your scale, if you buy a scale from Target or Walmart, um, you know, you hit tear on your scale, right? You're going to pounds and ounces on your scale, right? And you're gonna weigh out, guys. Important step here. Don't eyeball it, okay? Don't think I got enough or I got too little. I am literally weighing out four ounces of chicken per meal, okay, folks? And I'm weighing it out to a T. Nothing more, nothing less, all right? This is jerk chicken. Again, let me go back to the whole point of healthy food is not boring. This is jerk chicken, guys. This is flavor. This is healthy. This is good. It's not Cheeto dust. Dorito dust in your belly button. This is good food. Whole food, folks. This is macros. This is what we need to perform and have the energy for the kids soccer game to go outside and play with your children to go to the bas basketball court to shoot around to lift a little bit to get up and be able to do push-ups sit-ups squats right to be a better human because our physical health directly reflects our mental health and our mental health directly reflects how we treat people and how we feel eat better guys i have my chicken weighed out okay very easy i have my chicken weighed out 
I have my rice. I have my one cup measurement. Now, in a prior video, folks, I zested some lemons and limes. Guess what? That's not going to hurt me. I'm going to add a little bit of that zest to my rice, all right? And I got flavorful rice now. So it's not boring. It's actually really good. Okay, healthy food is not boring. Okay, folks. And I just put my rice. And again, my unit of measure here is just a dry cup, one cup, right? And I pack it, okay? This is a carbohydrate, folks. Let me break that down for you. Remix. This is our energy. This is what gets us going. This is your friend, okay? Carbohydrates are our friends. Main source of energy for the human body is carbohydrates. It's not every can of Celsius or Monster, every cup of coffee, it is carbohydrates. Right, folks? So I laid it in my meal prep container, okay? I already seasoned it up with my zest and gave it some great flavor. And my zest, you know, is healthy and kind of looks like Dorito dust in your belly button, except it's healthy and we should eat it. What? What? I'm tired of the obesity problem in America. I'm tired of Americans being lazy and not wanting to eat right and blaming it on everything except themselves. It's getting exhausted. I have my four ounces of chicken. 35 grams of protein, by the way, folks. Four ounces of chicken, 35 grams of protein, All right? Sitting here, beautiful. And every meal I eat, one cup of green vegetable, whether it be broccoli, green beans, Brussels sprouts, all right? Again, I didn't say Dorito. I didn't say Cheeto. Green vegetable. But guess what? When cooked correctly, and we'll get into that in another video, they still got a bite. They're still juicy. Tremendous flavor. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And I eat one cup of vegetables per meal. So I have my unit of measure here. Dry cup. One cup of vegetables going in. And for my fat, if you see the little gloss, I use olive oil. You could use avocado oil. You could use um, grapeseed oil or olive, olive oil, all right? And that's a meal prep, folks. Now, I had a garnishing video the other day, all right? Maybe you watched it, maybe you didn't. But guess what? You wanna make this look really nice? You wanna make this look really cool? Put some garnish on it. It looks nice, right? When you go in the refrigerator, you got your little plastic container full, all right? And then, you know, instead of that high fructose nonsense that you put on everything, a piece of lemon, lime, put it in your meal prep container, close your container, give yourself a round of applause for finally taking care of yourself, and stack it in your fridge. Guys, this is the most important thing you can do for yourself. It starts with you. Dig into understanding what your macros are, how much you should be eating for your performance. And if you need help, reach out, comment in the comment sections below. Let us know. We can help you out. Thank you, Chef.